Hi, my name is Janai Lane and I'm the founder of Spirit Coach Training. For many years, I've been taught directly by the Ascended Masters. And what I've noticed in my own spiritual evolution is this ability to become more and more empty of, of myself, the, the little Janai, and more of a vessel for the divine to come through me. And the more that's happened, the more grace I've noticed in my own life, and also the more grace that happens in my life's work and working with individuals and groups and helping them to evolve into their true nature. And it's such a beautiful process. One of the things that I've realized is, is so important. I've discovered this on my own path and I really wanna share it with you is um, this idea of, of healing our trauma, this idea of, of healing our wounding. It, it, it's a very important process and yet uh, for many years without realizing it, I was doing a spiritual bypass. I was transcending my trauma. So I was rising above the trauma or I was moving around the trauma, but the trauma was still there. And, and my trauma, it's something that we can't avoid in the human experience. It, it's our wounding, it's our scarring, it's the things that happen in our life that, that shock us, that, um, that become stuck energetically in our field. And no one gets through the life experience without some level of trauma. And so in my training, I was always transcending the trauma in the past. And, and it wasn't until I started getting very clear, clear direction from the Ascended Masters, like a Yeshua and Mother Mary and Ananda Ma, that I began to recognize that it wasn't enough to transcend the trauma. We needed to transmute the trauma. And the only way to transmute trauma, you have to move out of the construct in which the trauma was created, which is the egoic framework, the egoic mind. And you have to move into the framework of spirit or divinity or true self. So, so there is within us, each one of us, this innate wholeness, this wholeness in our formless nature, which is undisturbed by experience, meaning it can never be hurt, changed, distorted in any way. It is completely whole. And this ray, you could say this ray of God, this ray of divine, this ray of source, lives within each one of our high spiritual heart. We carry that ray inside of us, that light inside of us, each one of us. And what happens is when that becomes activated, when you're able to turn towards that, to identify with that, and to experientially activate that wholeness as a frequency that lives within you and me and all of us, what happens is that when we activate that, we can meet the trauma in that wholeness, in that love and truth. And what happens when you meet something, you allow it to be there, you meet that is the ability to begin to transmute it, to heal it, to really heal it, to allow it to be absorbed back in to love, to meet love and become love itself. And this process I see happening more and more and more in my live events and in my retreats where I'm meeting with groups and we're working with not only the personal trauma and transmuting that, but the collective on a collective level, because when we're healing on an individual level, we're also healing the lineage. We're also he healing culturally. And this is a very important thing to be doing right now at this time on the planet. It's so needed. So let's just take a moment and connect up. I'm just going to give you a glimpse or a little taste of this. So perhaps that you can um, begin to bring more awareness to this wholeness that exists within you right now, right now in this moment. So I want you to just touch your heart. 
touch your heart. This is your high spiritual heart I'm speaking of, not the emotional heart or the wounded heart or even the heart chakra. I'm talking about the high spiritual heart. And there is this diamond, this diamond you could say as a metaphor of your divine ray. It basically contains everything that you ever search for in this life experience. And you carry that within you. And as we touch that, you can close your eyes if you like. Bring your awareness to this diamond, this beautiful, radiant ray of God that is you, that is you. And begin to see that beginning to grow, to expand, for the light to become brighter. So it's just becoming more luminous, more luminous and expansive. And let it kind of fill, fill your whole heart area. Because as it fills the heart area, it holds the wounded heart, it meets whatever's there. And if it feels comfortable for you, you can begin to just expand it even a little bigger. And I want you to tune into that felt sense of love. The felt sense. It's almost as if the way I would describe it is your heart is smiling. It's a smile in your heart. It's a tone. It's a frequency that vibrates. Yeah, right there. Let that vibrate and begin to just reverberate through your energy field, through your body, your physiology, through your chakras, through the layers of your aura. Now, as you become more and more familiar with this tone of wholeness, this frequency, and you turn towards it, you turn towards it, you identify more and more with it, what is not that is met in this, you could say, love and truth, and begins to heal in a very natural way. So just take a moment and let that, let those, it's almost like waves, waves of flow of wholeness permeate your space. Just waves permeate your space. And you're not trying to do anything, you're just being. You're just being present in the wholeness itself, in the wholeness. Because the wholeness knows exactly what to do. There's no effort involved. There's no trying. There's no manipulation of reality. This wholeness meets what needs to be met, when it needs to be met, in love and truth. Beautiful. And I encourage you to just play with this, to play with this and experiment with this and explore this. And come and join us at our live events or retreats to really go deeper, deeper with this healing work that is really needed individually and collectively. Because when we do this work on a personal level, then we become these conduits of the divine in our families and our communities, um, the larger context of the world. And we're certainly here at this time, all of us, if you're listening to this, certainly you are called to be of service in this way. So thank you so much for listening. Many blessings on your path. Namaste.